A while ago, I posted a video uh, about how much I like this thing. It's just a blower. I use it on a campfire. I've had this one for a couple of years now, and I've been very hard on it. Uh, I take it camping. I've left it in the back of the trailer. It's gotten soaked in water. It's about done. What ends up happening is that the, the shaft that runs through here gets worn out, and then the blade in there, they start rubbing on the housing. I've definitely got my money's worth out of this. It was, I think, 15, 20 bucks. But yeah, so I just got a new one. Here's what it looks like coming right out of the box. I mentioned in my, my previous video that uh, you can put a drill on here and how incredibly well it works because it just, it takes something that already works really well and it just amplifies it. So, that on there, you just obviously just open her up, jam it on there, tighten it down. So there, now you have a drill powered hand blower and it really works. Yeah, so that's all there is to it. You just put the drill right on to the, I don't know if you call it a drive shaft. You just want to be careful because it will lurch a bit when you're putting the drill on there. But that's how much room you have to work with and get a lot of bang for your buck. So that's that. I would uh, go out and show you with a fire, but I don't have a fire going right now. So, well, I changed my mind. It's really nice out, so why not get a fire started? So let me show you real quick. Uh, I'd also like to point out that the better the drill, the better this is going to work. Uh, this is about, a, I think it was 12 bucks from Harbor Freight. I use it for rolling up uh, the shop door in my shop, um, and it's, it's not great. Here it like taper down real quick because it's a $12 drill from Harbor Freight. Yeah, there you go. Yep, and there the batteries are running out already. Well, you get the idea. Drill powered. <laughs>